two and a half years into Syria's civil war, a hostile new threat emerged in the northern conflict zone. Ilaf was one of 36 Syrian children confirmed last fall to have the crippling polio virus. We reacted very, very powerfully and very quickly to this uh, outbreak. Dr. Tamer Hassan belongs to an opposition task force based in Turkey that was formed to stop polio. The transportation is a problem, so it, it's our responsibility to reach every child in Syria. Once enough vaccines were stockpiled in Turkey, the task force enlisted local councils and doctors in rebel-held areas to train a small army of volunteers for an unprecedented door-to-door -door campaign. The volunteers would have to navigate a minefield of rebel militias and attacks from ruthless Syrian government forces. Dr. Mohamed Radwan is a task force coordinator in Aleppo, Syria's largest city. Despite the risks and pay of just several dollars a day, there was no shortage of volunteers to fight polio. In the months ahead, more than 8,000 volunteers fanned out across rebel-held areas. To be fully immune, each child must be vaccinated at least three times, a daunting task in a time of war. As the campaign wore on, the Syrian army targeted volunteers with barrel bombs, crude metal drums packed with explosives. You have 20 to 30 seconds till the power comes to the land, hit the, the land. So it's very, really terrifying. One of the volunteers who was uh, coming out of the building after finishing the vaccination of the children there. And just after he went out, a barrel came and destroyed even the building. And the children inside who were vaccinated were killed too. Four volunteers were killed during the first six months of the polio campaign. In besieged areas that have gone years without medical services, locals hailed the vaccinators as heroes. So far, the task force has immunized some 1.4 million children against polio. According to the United Nations, no new outbreaks have been recorded inside Syria. And we prove that we have the capability to do impossible things. But in rest of areas like Deir Ezzur, Polio's victims are left to grapple with the symptoms of a war that shows no sign of ending.
two-year-old Noor's father was killed on the battlefield. <laughs> With thousands more children still out of reach, the task force's work is far from over. After several days of rest in Turkey, Radwan would head back into harm's way. Children, for the sake of children. 